So after installation of SmartView, I will show you now how to uh, define the first station, for example, a UMB station. So you go to Edit, and if you go to Edit, which is the most important button here in SmartView for you, um, you have different possibilities, station, websites, export, import, alarm. So that's the right uh, definition here and row. So normally we start with Edit Station. And then you see the station menu here and there is nothing inside. So we want to create a new station and if you want to do that you click into the white window, right mouse click and say new station. And now we, have, well, we are in this station menu, configuration menu. We have different possibilities here. We can name the station. You can also enter a model if you want, you can or you have to choose the right station type, the Luft station type, which is in this case a UMB station. Then we have the poll time, standard is every 10 minutes the station will be polled. Of course you can change this to your needs. You can also uh, link a camera station to this station for example. You can enter local information, you have the device settings here. If you poll the station the first time, you always need to, to use the check configuration button here because um, the first time you need to read out, out also the configuration and write the configuration into the MySQL database. So normally you have to use this button the first time, only the first time. Then you have the connection settings. We have a RS-232 connection here, um, but of course you can choose between modem connection, TCP IP, TLS over IP and also other things. So in this case we have RS-232, use the right COM port, use the COM parameters, um, timeout uh, here can be ch uh, changed, normally we use 1000 and 2000 as timeouts. So and after that you can strike OK or pull now and OK and now we will try or we, the smart will try to reach the first station with the name Luft test here. Uh, status here, reading configuration, and yeah. So we have to wait now until the station was reached and pulled. So now we have the information status OK. So everything is pulled now and we can enter again the same menu, double click. And now we have more information because you see now we have the check configuration button is not activated anymore or active anymore. If you go to device details you will see what is installed on the station side. We have one road sensor IRS 31 here and we have a weather station. Now the station will be pulled every 10 minutes but first of all because we are using a UMB station we have to activate the channels we want to read into the MySQL database. So we do that using the sensor details button. And now the sensor list for the station will open. All the possible channels which we can choose are shown here in the table. And you see that the values are gray. Gray means that these uh, channels are not activated. And now the customer, you, has to choose which channel should be written into the database. I will show you how you can do that. For example, for the road sensor, we choose the surface temperature. You mark it, right mouse click, set active. And now you see this channel is now black and this is active. And so you have to choose all the different channels you want to see for the station. I will do that now, quick. So that's it. Now we will do again a poll, poll now, go to OK. Now the station will be polled again very quick of course because we do not need to read out the configuration anymore. Then we can go back and go back to sensor details and now you see that you will have actual values. And now also these values will be written, depending on the polling time, always into the MySQL database. Check the values if they are OK. So, that was the configuration of the station. Now we are ready to poll every 10 minutes 
and I will show you in the next step how to configure the, the website. So now we have configured the station. This is okay now and the next step will be the website. So close the station menu and we go to edit websites. Again a menu will open or a window will open and this is the website menu and we, if you want to create a new website you enter the, the, the window here, right mouse click new and this is the, uh, the website configuration menu. We can name, give the website a name Then we have to enter the path where the website will be written in and we have to create that. Normally we use the same path as where the smart view is installed. For example C, smart view and we create a folder for example with the name web. And we need this path here because this path needs to be written into the smart view local path window here. So write the path here then you can of course also configure a site header in this case again luft test station for example. Um, you can also create a pop-up menu or a show cam icons on top. So of course you can do different things but really important is that you have to say which station should be part of the website. So you have to click on edit stations button here and you enter the station which will be part of the website. So mark it, add and then we have the possibility to choose some templates. So you do not need to do everything manually, all the configuration. We have templates for that uh, depending on the station. So we have the template for road weather station, for agro stations and TLS station. In our case we use a road station, so choose road sensor station here. And then you will see that um, we have different um, uh, values here for the station. Normally this is always ok, but control it. So the road temperature and this is the, here on the right side we have the channel from the station. Then you say OK and the template will show you how or this uh, window will show you how the, uh, the website will uh, look like. So we will have a vertical bar graph which name is surface temperature and the used channel will be the channel number 2 of road temperature degree Celsius actual. So you have to control that here for the complete section. Normally it will be OK, so you can go on OK. Then you can again enter a name of the website or change the height and the width. But normally also this is not uh, necessary, so you can go to OK. OK again. And if you click on OK now, the website will be created. So OK, and you see here now we have a, a website called Lufttest with the station Lufttest here and the pages are structured like this. So now we can check the folder for Smart View Web and you will see there is nothing inside. The reason is easy. Of course we need to start under Modules the Smart Web because the Smart Web will be responsible for the creation of the websites. So go to Modules, start smart web and after that normally it will maybe maybe last one minute then the website will be created and you will see that now here in the background we are on web folder and we have now the websites created and you can open the index.html to check the website if you open it so you will see the actual website of course here you have the navigation bar here on the left, overview, stations, diagrams, archive, contact. Uh, normally under the overview you will have this uh, table. You can also install or create a map view. Then you go to stations. Everything which is blue can be used 
interactive. So, for example, if you go to stations, loof test, you will be into the station page here. The station page contains a status box here. Then we have some uh, active single values shown in, in, in these bars and graphs here. And we have also the table for all the different values of the station. So we can also check the diagrams. Of course, you see there are no diagrams. The diagrams needs to be done manually. I will show you that in a, in a few seconds, how you will do that or how you can do that. Then you have the archive. Normally, all old websites are put into the archive. So because we have no old values in this case, we have no archive yet. But this will be created automatically. And we have a contact. Uh, possibility to enter some contact addresses, some telephones here and if you want to do that no problem. So for your information everything you want to change on the, on the website here needs to be done or changed here in the smart view. That means we want to create some diagrams so we go back to smart view check our home page here, love test go to pages and we see there is an icon called diagrams. So now we want to create a diagram. We go to diagrams, right mouse click, new, and we can now choose between different page types. Normally a diagram is a data page. And so click on data page. We have also the possibility to create a link page, group status, a map page. But in this case, we want to create a data page. Go to OK. And again, we have templates. So in this case, again, we have a road sensor and meteo data station. So click on road sensor and meteo data. OK. Use the or, or choose the right station. Go to OK. And again, we get the information about a template. Normally, again, this is OK. Go to OK. And you will see now how the, um, the diagrams will look like. We will have, a, for example, here a line diagram with these four different values, which is called road sensor temperatures with the uh, channels which fit into this, uh, this value. So you have to check if this is okay. Normally it is okay. And then you go to okay. And here in this menu we can change the title. Normally this one is the, a day diagram for example. And we, have, we can also choose the data interval for this, uh, for this diagram. Again this is a day diagram so the interval will be day and the station will be Luft test. Here in this section we can create some special things. For example, we can also get a CSV file if you want. So click on data as CSV file for download. We can generate a print view on this page. Also this is possible, so we also will create this one now. And normally this is okay, so click on okay. And now if you check here on diagrams, now we have a diagram, a Luft test day. If you want to have also a weekly, a monthly or yearly diagram, you have to do the, the, the same procedure again. Only what you need to do is to change the interval, of course, for example, into monthly. Anyway, now we have created the diagrams. And if you go back to the web page here, now we have the diagrams here. Under diagrams, love test day, if you open it, you see we have created the diagrams like the template told us. All right. Here we have the print view. Also this was configured by myself. So print view, that means you will be able to print these pages very easily. And also a CSV download was done here and you can choose how you want to open it with Excel or something like that. Yes, I think that's it. That was the installation of a of a smart view of the smart view software and also the creation of a station in smart view. All information regarding the smart view free installation and visualization of the data of course can also be checked in the smart view free manual. I hope you enjoyed the video training and hopefully we will see you again.